When this started, it was a seed planted. A magical glowing seed. On a roof. Nice. With the big blue sky as the only blue screen we could find yeah, big enough try one more time. to fit the world we were trying to create. Don't go so far. A world we were trying to be a part of. <laughs> Eventually, we built our very own blue screen. Our idea of Hollywood in a garage in Ashway, Rhode Island. Oh, that's feet first. Making films for me. Is... We used it to make some questionable decisions. It's a way of life. And then moved to a big green blanket and made a few more. Until one day, it was time to find better backdrops, bluer skies, bigger horizons. The world taught us how to make videos, how to search for beauty in ugly places, or expose ugliness in a beautiful way. To keep searching for one more shot. The cameras got bigger, then they got smaller, then bigger again. Brides and grooms, agencies, brands, they all took a chance on us. We worked with people that made us better until Gnarly Bay was something bigger than the sum of its parts. A team with a mission to make work that inspires and connects. At first, we had to act in the commercials. And then it was family and friends until we got to cast real talent. Twenty dollars? Yep. Dude, teach me. Work with real storyboards, and real props, on real sets, with real lights. Eventually, it was making work that breathed life into all kinds of ideas, old and new. Work that emotes, maybe through laughter or nostalgia, kindness, or love. Sometimes through overcoming tragedy, or heartbreak, or maybe through courage or perseverance. We're always searching, seeking for another way to communicate through this medium, old as time. Story. We set out to make stories. Stories of humanity, or family, or friendship. Stories about compassion or hope. Stories about dreams. So when people ask what Gnarly Bay is, where did the name come from? We say that Gnarly Bay is a mythical body of water, a beautiful and protected rocky bay on the coast of westerly Rhode Island, that on any given day has tiny, perfect waves. And someday, if everything lines up just right, Maybe those waves will be big enough for the world to ride.